Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I don't even know what episode we're in now. Freaking eight. Pfft, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm actually a couple episodes ahead, but I've been trying to slow slow it down a little bit. The problem is, this early stage in the game, I keep finding progression, um, new things. So I'm I'm stopping myself from going any further and just doing other stuff uh, in order to uh, to basically catch up to videos so I'm, I'm getting a lot done but I'm trying to keep discoveries and what have you uh, to a minimum so that I can show you guys the things that I've been progressing on so in this episode there's actually a lot going on but first I gotta say thank you guys so much for all the views and all the uh, likes that I have been getting on this series I'm blown away about how much you guys actually really like this series. So, really excited about this. I am going to keep this going. And uh, I also may have something else in the works that I'm going to be working on um, that also involves Better Than Wolves. So, maybe. Uh, I need to get some things worked out. But, let's hope it all goes the way I'm thinking. Alright, so. Today. Oh. Okay. Okay. So much, so much stuff. Uh, it's dark outside. All right. Um, first, first discovery was uh, these, or is it these creeper oysters? I found out how to get them thanks to uh, Mr. Sweezno. Um, I watched his let's plays, and uh, he was cutting off creeper balls. So with some shears. So the shears that I made actually useful pretty good stuff um, I keep forgetting it's this one so I've been cutting those up um, that means that I can officially get a diamond pickaxe so while we're here diamond pickaxe this I'm, I'm pretty sure this is how to do it I forgot what the recipe was but I'm pretty sure you just put these three in there those kids oh no oh no I can't no one two three yeah, yeah that's right two three okay no that's good oh I had it all planned out I for a second there I thought it wasn't gonna work okay so I now officially have a diamond pickaxe now what does this do obsidian nether it means I can finally get the nether and I can make a cauldron which will then give me more possibilities some more stuff is gonna open up for me this was a major one that I wanted to share with you guys uh, that I wanted to do okay so speaking of stuff here's my to-do list I got a saw cauldron kiln nether portal um, I need renewable food sources which are chickens melons wheat uh, I say wheat because right now is if I can find one inside the uh, abandoned mine shaft in one of those little um, chests my girt chest then I could actually have the melon I, I'm not the wheat um, you may be able to find wheat seeds in there but I don't think so um, and another big thing is wolves wolves yeah I actually need to find some wolves um, I had to find out exactly where to find them they are in forests and the icy biomes or I think it, tundra I don't know exactly which biomes there's like two of them that have ice in it uh, so I think it's just those icy biomes that you find them in Tiaga, whatever Tiaga, whatever it is so uh, that's not gonna be today um, we're not gonna do that so um, so this is my to-do list and I'll be trying to work on these as much as possible the biggest one is renewable food source um, I found a lot more iron I went into another cave found a lot more Actually, I just went further into my um, abandoned mine shaft, and I found a bunch. I actually have just a little bit more here. Once you start finding, you really start getting a good amount. Um, but I still feel like I, I still gotta hunt it, hunt it down. You know, I still gotta keep looking, keep keep grinding away at the the caves. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do strip mining. It's safer to strip mine, for sure. But once you have better armor, it's a little it's a little easier 
No armor, very difficult. Um, I'm past the wool. Um, I didn't realize that I could actually make leather armor until I watched Mr. Sneezo's video. Um, yeah, I, I thought you had to tan it before you can actually make leather armor. I don't know why I thought you you had to do that. So I, I thought I wasn't able to make it until I had the um, dung from wolves. So that's the case here. Um, made some leather armor, and you guys can see here my armor's going up a bit. Uh, this is about to be dead. Once that's dead, I'm gonna. I think I have enough. Well, it's over here. I think I have enough leather. Uh, eight. Yep. I have exactly eight. That'll be exactly enough for the uh, for the thing. So, um, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, I changed around the building a lot. Obviously, you guys can see here. I've been working on a uh, storage area. So this is one project I was working on. Um, another thing is I'm trying to grow some uh, mushrooms here, and I will show you guys why. A little thing I found when I was looking up mushrooms and the thing. Where the hell are they? Oh, right here. My bad. Boop. Right there. And uh, this way. I want to go up. Oh, it's getting bright out. Ooh, he's staring at me. Okay. So, um, I officially have my millstone set up. Um, I have a lever here to turn this off so that when it's storming, it doesn't break off and some other shit so turn this on and I can get some stuff for grinding as you can see here it'll work fine doo, 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 doo. so it works good now here's a question I have for you guys and I may or may not find this information out by the time uh, this video releases but I can't figure out how to increase my cocoa bean count and what I mean by that is I break these and like one out of ten will drop an additional cocoa bean I'm not shitting you they they just won't fucking drop it drives me nuts one 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 oh that one dropped two one. One. Oh, that one dropped two. Wow, I'm I'm amazed. So I was able to get two extra from this whole thing. Um, that sucks. <laughs> that really does suck. Okay, and as another thing you guys can see since the last video, I think... No, I already showed you guys this in the last video because you guys saw me put this thing together. Oh, but I don't think I attached the, the buildings. No, I didn't. I didn't attach the buildings. Okay, so I attached these buildings here. Um, kind of built this out. Uh, back here, there's actually water right behind this thing. That's where the well is, actually. Um, so I can take that, the well, which is way up there, and transfer it down here for a lot of my machines, which is going to be awesome. So I'm going to build a lot of stuff right below this well. And what's great is on the other side of that well is, is also some other buildings which go down. So, I can use that well water for a lot of stuff because it's so high compared to all the buildings. Um, another thing is this building right here, guys, which we're standing in. Uh, this building is... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this building is the um, uh, blacksmith house, which has been converted over. Uh, you guys can see here, blacksmith house. Uh, there's the lava and stuff. Um, I changed it over a bit it is now um, going to be a main the main building for um, the windmill I'm gonna have the windmill over here and up there so it's gonna be up up top um, I'll have some machines mach some machine stuff up here I think I'm gonna have like the dogs in in an area over here so yeah I'm gonna have some cool stuff like that now, I kind of find wolves, though. Seriously, I really need some wolves. So, I changed uh, this around. Um, I may or may not leave the stairs the way they are. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really liking it like this right now. So, I may end up changing it, but 
for what it is, it's, it is what it is. Um, also, I've been putting these fence posts up here. I think those kind of look cool. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> They're cheap. Um, what else? Uh, we got... Oh, yeah, if I come out here... First of all, I can show you guys the well that I was talking about. The well's way over here. Hold on one second. I don't know what it is. My nose always gets jacked up when I start recording. It's weird. Okay, so, uh, yeah, here's the well. The well's gonna be great, because look, it's like right there, and it's one, one, two, three blocks before it's the bottom of these, and then go down here and for another block for these guys. Um, that's pretty awesome, because that means I can take the water, drain it down all the way over here, and it'll level out to these, uh, to these guys. Also, I may be able to use that water transfer it down over here to uh, uh, so it'll work inside here so I can have a farm in here and additionally it should work out so that I can do it over here as well for this section hopefully <laughs> I'm hoping it'll work that way and this way the farms that I'm using over here are just gonna be temporary and we can move it all over there so, as you guys can see here, uh, I've been plant. Oh, he's just sitting right there. Oh, I know what he wants. I know what they want. They're trying to eat my freaking shit. Get off that. I haven't showed them yet. Get off my shit. Okay, uh, so pumpkin farm. I, I finally got that, like, set up. It's working out good. Um, uh, I've got more, more hemp here. Uh, and I think I'm going to tear down this hemp field right here. Maybe. I don't know. It's useful. And I've and I just keep extending the uh, this farm, the uh, sugar cane farm, all the way down. <laughs> I'm just extending it as far as I can. Uh, so yeah, guys, this right here is actually going to be moved over there. Let me show you what that's going to look like. So here's the idea. Um, it's going to extend upward, and who knows what direction I'm going to put it in, but whatever. That, that that's not important. Um, and then all the stuff's gonna be powered in there. I think it's I think it looks really cool. Could be just me, but yeah. Uh don't know what to do with those just yet. I can hear birds outside. I was like, what is that? Is that in the game? <laughs> uh it's so hot in here, I have my back door open. Uh so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do over there yet. But uh I got a lot of this planned out and worked on. I've been working on a lot of that stuff. Just the aesthetics so I can um uh keep myself busy until I recorded this video which uh, by this time you guys still haven't seen the last video actually I have one that's being released literally tomorrow that's episode 6 you guys haven't even seen episode 6 by the time you're recording this episode 7 has already been recorded and I haven't uh, I haven't rendered it yet because I've just been waiting and this is episode 8 I believe so yeah we're, we're in episode 8 yeah, yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, so we're in episode eight, and uh, this is where we are. So now, uh, a few other things like these guys. These are my shikins, which uh, three of them I found, and I had to drag each individual one over here. Um, I didn't know, guys, that uh, a few things. There's a, there's a few things I didn't know when it came to the chickens. One, I didn't know that the chickens would follow me with hemp seeds. So I never even bothered bringing them back. That's the first thing. The second thing is after a week in game of them being sitting there alive, not laying a single freaking egg, I finally looked it up. Hardcore chickens. You have to fucking feed them seeds in order for them to lay eggs. I did not know that. I should have caught that. Should have caught it. But I didn't. So, yeah. Give me some seeds. I just need one more. So I have been making some interesting stuff. Which one are you? That one. 
I could probably actually throw those down there. I think they eat them off the ground. Yeah, they do. So I have, based on that, I was looking up eggs. Egg. And uh, so here's the raw egg. And what you can do with raw egg is you can use three mushroom and one raw egg and make two raw mushroom omelets, which I believe give you two health each. So for one egg and for three mushroom, you get four uh, hunger bars full. That's sort of the, the idea. Um, I think that this is a little more efficient. Raw egg with milk makes scrambled egg. However, I don't have any cows. So I need to round up cows, but I'm pretty sure I need wheat to round up cows. Yeah, pretty sure. Could be wrong. I should look it up. I should look it up. So I don't go jumping to any conclusions. I know you need wheat to breed them. I just don't know if you need them need wheat to uh to to get them to follow you so there was that uh, so that's what I've been doing also I could have just used fried eggs which was not good because I fried one egg and it gave me one I think it only gave me one one heart oh look at this see look at that I can't do anything no I did have an egg right there see look check it out how many do I have on me? Four? So one in there. Get some of that. Put that in there. And one of these will cook up two of those. So that's what I've been doing. And that'll give me some cooked mushrooms. So as far as renewable food source, that's what I got at the moment. I have mushrooms. I do have a little extra mushrooms here. I didn't want to go through too much of my stock just in case. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I got guys I'm gonna throw another one of those in there and there uh, so my chickens chickens are my my food source at the moment and I just realized I don't need hemp seeds I could just use pumpkin seeds because I think I can turn a pumpkin into seeds can't I oh I can I could just use pumpkin seeds oh I could have done all this at the point I had the pumpkins. Which point was that? Did I find pumpkins? No, I found pumpkins inside the, the mine shaft, I think. Um, the pumpkin seeds inside. That's how I got the mine carts. Um, yeah. And, uh, okay, so um, another thing that was confirmed, confirmed when I watched Mr. Sweeznose video was that um, it is a good idea to grab all the rails because you could smelt them down so that was a good idea all right guys so in this video we're already freaking 18 minutes into this video it's been a lot of stuff just to update you guys but one of the things I wanted to build because I actually had I think I have all the stuff for it shoot I did build it right yeah bucket so I got my bucket uh, it was a cauldron so let me clear this Let's see oh no the AU cauldron? Yes. So a cauldron, uh, which is a buttload of iron, water bucket, and a bone. So buttload of iron. Where is my buttload of iron? Not me. Oh, man. do I, I don't think I have enough iron. Oh, no. Maybe I don't have enough. I was saving this for today. Okay, maybe I shouldn't make it, even if I can make it. Oh, that's going to use up all my iron. Oh, no, it's not. I'm, I'm still going to have a good amount. Let me throw all this in here. And go to this guy. And I know you guys might be wondering why I'm still using um, uh, whatever the hell this is, the oak wood. I'm using the oak wood because I know the exact amount and I don't have to do any math to figure out how many of birch wood it's going to cost to actually do this. So, I'm not worrying about it. So, that, a bone, a bone, where did I put the bone? Bone, right there. So, I have a bone. I'll soon have that. And I need six? I think it's six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of those.
Oh. What? Did, did I miscount that? <laughs> One, two, three, five, six, seven. Did I? I think I counted that wrong. I don't know. I said seven, but only had six. Oh, oh, don't want that. I have no water in my thing. I don't want that kiss stream thing. So I need to go out there and get water. Excuse me a second, guys. Hopefully, we have uh, a creeper out here and I can snip his nuts so you guys can see this. <laughs> it's funny as hell. I'm not shitting you. I would not shit you guys. Right. Back inside. I've yet to have a door. By the way, another thing. I did not realize that the doors can be made. I think I saw the iron doors and how you had to have two golden hinges on the, on the ends for the construction of the door. So I think I just kind of assumed that the, the wood doors were going to be the same. So I ended up not making it, not making them. And I just put half slabs to block everybody out. So I finally started making That's why I made the doors. Uh that was stupid. All right, let's put all this shit back in here. And okay, so I have everything like that, like that, like that, and I have my cauldron. Now, in order to get a cauldron working, I, I oh my son's getting a little crazy over there. In order to get a cauldron working, I believe I need my headset to be yanked out of its jack no I don't need that um, what I need is a uh, nether rack underneath burning so I can cook with it now this is important now I have a diamond pickaxe and that is going to get us some uh, uh, obsidian so that's my next goal guys is to get the cauldron a working. So I'm gonna put the cauldron right in here. And uh, next episode, guys, that's what we're doing. We're gonna be working on getting that cauldron, so it's gonna be a trip to the Nether. I'm honestly not looking forward to this. There are so many times where I would go walk through another portal, and you're just like right in the fucking middle of nowhere. And the first thing that happens is just a gas chucking a fireball at you. I'm just not looking forward to that. And I don't know if Better Than Wolves, where he changed it so now you can't hit back gas balls back. No idea. But we're going to find out. And uh, one other thing I got to do before I go is, uh, and yes, I do got to do this because I'm completely out. Where is it? Right there. Yeah, I have like no cobblestone. I ate 19 cobblestone. So I have to go mine a bunch of cobblestone and then then we can get going. Alright guys uh, I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys like this video please do like, favorite, thumbs up all that good shit. And as always guys keep crawling and peace out.